Previously on Perp Plays Baldur Gate 3, a parasite enters my brain through my eyes. I teamed up with two new companions to flee the ship, end up crashing the ship and finding myself waking up somewhere. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Doesn't matter. We made it. True. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Now what? First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We? You want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. After exploring and looting for a bit, we came upon this door. Another entrance. Not being able to open the door, I decided to check out some other way to get in.
Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. After defeating these creatures, I was able to level up. I decided to get a spell that lets me summon a pet. And my choice of pet is Spider, and I'm naming him Charles. After a while, I decided to check up on Shadowheart and see how she's doing. Something the matter? What's the story with that odd little artifact? There's you no have? story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. What do you think of all that happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? How do I hold up in your estimate? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? You must have thoughts about our little stowaway. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpole? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Where would you go? Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Seems personal. I wouldn't pry if it's not something you want to talk about. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. We should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? You don't want to talk about yourself? I should hope not. Have you ever heard the people who want to talk about themselves? I'm doing you a favor. Maybe I'd like to get to know you better. <laughs> Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. If that's what you prefer, I can respect that. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. After this conversation went absolutely nowhere, I've decided to keep adventuring and see what we can find. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Kill it yourself. You seem capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry.
I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You have it backwards. They snatched me up too. I'm not an idiot. I saw... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flare worm. It's controlling us. The worm? Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies accepted. I might have done the same were the roles reversed. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yeah, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flares. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it. We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right, I accept. Lead on. After a bit of traveling, I decided to ask some more questions to our new companion I suspect to be a vampire. Need something? Tell me more about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Footprints. There may be even more that survived the crash. There's goblins over What's there. Going on with them? Worth Ooh. checking for supplies, maybe. Looks so unstable. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. Looks slightly dangerous. A hand? Anyone? doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh. 
Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. At introductions? At magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. Yes, I was. Then I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have phrased it more repellingly myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. These tadpoles are even beyond my arcane knowledge. I can't remove them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. With two new companions and one of them being a rogue, I decided to go back to the locked door and see if I can unlock it now. left to trap out for us. Step carefully. There's a trap. Trap. Be cautious. Elminster's not around, 
So might as well. To new horizons. Well, there's no going back now, only moving forward. You have a familiar twinkle in your touch. You're a wizard, aren't you? I am. Why do you ask? Would you consider yourself particularly well read? The aid of someone learned would be of great use to me. I was reading a book every day before our unhappy capture. The limited time for reading that undergoing cerebrophosis leaves pains me so. You and I both know the aid a powerful sage could bring us. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Tell me a bit more about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell about your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Try as you might to breach his inner thoughts, Gale swats your efforts away with infuriating ease. I have a very disciplined mind. Those tricks won't work on me. Please don't try that again unless I invite you to. Armed scribes. No sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. I need to find a way forward. That might be worth a look.
provoco a on my way.
shouldn't have made me your enemy. <laughs> Thinking cadavers, I may as well feel sorry for a breadbasket. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? A peaceful undead. Interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? Because that would be senseless. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. And thus, balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell.
We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way, as if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again, soon. You seem very convinced of that, how? The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. Since I've explored everything in this area so far, this is the only door that I didn't go through yet, so I decided to go back. Thanks for watching part 2 everybody. Part 3 is under works. Leave a like and subscribe. See you guys later.